he he was picking off of a menu. He was sitting at the IHOP, and he had a menu with four items on it. Just like my cousin Vinny, they they got three items: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He <laughs> had four items, and and it ultimately came down to two. He's torn between Broncos and Packers, unless of course he wasn't. I mean, that's the other side of this. I'm gonna digress here for a second. What if he did get? kind of a weird vibe from Nathaniel Hackett. What if at some point over the past week, he kind of got the feeling they didn't want him in Denver. Kind of got the feeling that, you know, they're really not trying to convince me as hard as I thought they would be. They're really not pulling out all the stops. They're really not having Brad Childress pick me up at the airport. They're really not doing all the stuff that I thought they were going to do. There's got to be more to the story here. If there's any truth to the idea that the Broncos made Russell Wilson plan A. And it's possible that's all crap and that Rodgers was plan A. But at the end of the day, it was Broncos or Rodgers or or Packers or retirement. But uh, I, I, you know, bottom line is, once he decides to stay in Green Bay, that's when I believe the agents mobilize. And I'm just saying generally, I know that. Once a guy says, this is my deal, the agent mobilizes to get the word out yeah. because the agent wants wants to look good. We, right. Hey, we, we've, we're the firm that's negotiated the richest contract in NFL history. Please sign with us. Yeah. I, well, listen, I've been led to believe it was Broncos Packers by people I know. And yeah. I don't think it's a coincidence. Well, I mean, come on. The NFL, it's not that coincidental. Come on, everybody. Like, uh, you know, the, the Tooth Fairy's not real. All right. Mickey Mouse. Hey, he, hey, he, kids yeah. watch this show. Sorry, Mickey ain't real it's, either. It's some guy with a damn Mickey. mask on. All right. I don't know. They're out of them are real. All right. Yeah. Sorry. 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 Santa, you know, questionable there. If you're a young kid, cover your ears. Okay. I could say worse, what, young kid. What kids. are you doing? Right. What's wrong with you? Uh, but. Did you smoke before the show today? No, I God. didn't. I don't know. I might have been better off. Maybe you I might should have. Been more have. Calm. Right. I know. Yeah. But, but, yes, I mean. I don't know. I think it goes back to what you've said, what we've said. You said it yesterday specifically. You know, I think when Rodgers just kind of surveys the landscape, he probably looked at it like you did yesterday and said, I still think my best option is to be where I am and the team I'm at. And let alone, I think, you know, he is a guy that maybe needs to be comfort, comforted or feel like he's the king a little bit more than normal. Where like a new, going to a new place is a little bit like, damn, wow, I got to go there and establish my dominance and, you know, get things the way I want them there. I think that's a daunting task for a guy like Rodgers. But I, I do think that there was a real love there. And I do think, you know, just from everything I've heard, Nathaniel Hackett and Rodgers are two peas in a pod to where I would think that was a genuine interest there. Uh, but, you know, maybe Denver knowing, you know, hey, we got a guy in the background over here that we like a lot, too. Maybe they didn't have to kiss his butt quite to the extent that maybe Rodgers, you know, would have liked. Well, and that's the thing. Hackett has found a way to work with Aaron Rodgers, but we don't know how much Hackett has bent for Aaron Rodgers. And Hackett has witnessed all of the drama, all of the issues, all of the stuff. And either well well look if 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 Rodgers was plan A and he told the Broncos no and they pivot to Russell Wilson it's not an issue but if there if there was any sense that the organization was torn and they could have had Aaron Rodgers and Hackett wanted him and Peyton wanted Russell Wilson that's going to be something those guys have to work through we don't know that we don't know that but if if what they're pushing that Russell Wilson was plan A for the organization. If that's true, there is a chance Hackett was like, you know, the guy I know, we want him a Super Bowl sooner than later. The guy I know may be able to come in and do it, even though he's only won one in his career. And, and that's the other side of this, too. You got two guys. All the talk yesterday, they got one career Super Bowl win each. Right. Rodgers and Wilson. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.